Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at the difference between corrosion and rusting. Right, before we talk about corrosion and rusting, we need to understand what oxidation is, so let's start there. If we take magnesium as an example and react it with oxygen, it will form magnesium oxide. Hopefully that's pretty straightforward. What we can also say is that we have added oxygen to the magnesium, therefore it has been oxidised. Now, magnesium is a highly reactive metal, so it will oxidise really quickly. But if we looked at iron, which reacts with oxygen to form iron oxide, it's a less reactive metal. So it will still oxidise, but it will take longer. If we then look at gold, it doesn't react with oxygen. It's an unreactive metal, so it does not oxidise at all. Now for those of you doing the higher paper, oxidation is also described as the loss of electrons. So the more reactive the metal, the quicker it is to lose its electrons, meaning it will oxidise quicker. Now that we know that oxidation is the addition of oxygen and the loss of electrons, let's move on to corrosion. If we take any reactive metal and expose it to air, it will oxidise. Now over time, that oxidation will continue and more and more of the metal will turn into an oxide. And that metal will begin to weaken. This is what corrosion is. So our definition for corrosion is the destruction of a metal by oxidation or rusting. So what is rusting then? Let's go back to the oxidation of iron. Iron reacts with oxygen to form iron oxide. Now this is an example of oxidation, the addition of oxygen, and it can lead to corrosion. However, it's not rusting. For rusting, we need both oxygen and water for it to occur. This forms hydrated iron oxide, which is the orangey brown colour you see when iron rusts. It's important to note here that iron is the only metal that does rust, all other metals will oxidise and then corrode. Now how can we know this? How do we know that we need both oxygen and water for rusting to occur? And it's a pretty easy investigation to find out. Firstly, take three test tubes and add a nail to each. In the first test tube, add no water so the nail only has oxygen from the air. In the second test tube, boil the water to remove the oxygen and then add a layer of oil to stop any oxygen from reaching the nail. And then in the third test tube, add both water and oxygen. Leave it for a week or two and then you will see that only the third test tube has rusted, meaning you need both oxygen from the air and water for rusting to occur. Let's finish with a quick recap of the difference between corrosion and rusting then. Corrosion is the weakening of any metal through oxidation. Rusting is a part of that. Corrosion can occur on any surface, doesn't just have to be a metal, whereas rusting only occurs in iron and its alloys. Corrosion occurs when exposed to air, the oxygen from the air in particular. Rusting occurs in air and moisture. Oxygen from the air, water, and it needs both of them. And then corrosion forms metal oxides and rusting only forms iron oxide. And that is everything that you need to know about corrosion and rusting. I've got a few questions for you. The first one is which of the following metals will corrode the fastest? So you've got iron, potassium, silver, and gold. Which of those is the most reactive? that'll be the one that corrodes the fastest. Second question, write the word equation for the oxidation of potassium. That's worth two marks. Third question, explain why copper pipes become weaker over time. And then finally, identify the two reactants needed for iron to rust. Have a think, pause the video, have a go at the questions, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's go through. So which of the following metals will corrode the fastest? Potassium. It's the most reactive one, it will corrode the quickest. Second question. Write the word equation for the oxidation of potassium. So you're starting off with potassium, it's oxidation, so it's reacting with oxygen, and it's going to form an oxide. So it'll be potassium oxide. You must say oxygen. Next question. Explain why copper pipes become weaker over time. They react with oxygen or they oxidize, and therefore they will corrode. And then finally, identify the two reactants needed for iron to rust. Number one, oxygen, and number two, water. 
And that really is everything you need to know for this video. I have got a review question for you, which is explain how you can prove that both oxygen and water are needed for iron to rust. So think through the experiment that I talked about. It's worth six marks. If you want to have a go at it, put your answer in the comments and I'll let you know if you're right. That's everything. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to my channel, you can check out the latest video, and you can visit my website up above here. Bye now.